Hi guys, welcome to Shelf Temba. I know this video is late. I'm sorry, forgive me. It's been busy, rough, <laughs> but I'm getting it done. So I want to explain the premise of Shelf Temba and the Shelf Temba basket, which I love personally and is how I do it. You work out what works for you, but this is just a suggestion. So first of all, Shelf Temba is a month long pantry challenge basically where we try to live and eat and manage your house with as little waste as humanly possible food wise now you you choose your own grocery budget whatever it is you can still buy stuff you're not not buying stuff and you're not just buying fresh stuff although that is obviously the preferred way to go you're using up everything you have in your fridge your freezer and your pantry. Rotating everything, getting rid of those half open packets, those things that maybe you don't eat as much anymore or that you got more of because you thought you'd like it better than you did and coming up with some creative ways to use all of that and get it out of there and reduce your spending on food and save some money, which is what we're all about here. So, the shelf temper basket. It's this little basket here, mine is this little basket here. And basically I go through my pantry and I find everything that's half open, half eaten, we don't really eat anymore, that we have too much of, all of those kinds of things. Or if I just want to use it up, it goes into here. Now I use this all year long, but in September this lives out on my counter where I can see it and it annoys me. Um, the rest of the year it lives in my pantry and it's the first place I look when I'm coming up with a meal plan, see what I need to use. So I'm going to show you how I use the basket. These are some of the things that I found in my pantry that we don't either don't eat much of or is open, all of those things. So I'm going to show you some of the ideas that I'm going to do with all of this. Starting with this, this can of fruit salad. I got it for a dollar from Coles last year when they were clearancing all of them. It is still in date, but I have four more of these. So I want to start using them up, making sure that I'm moving through my stock. So that's a dollar and I'm going to use that with these jelly packets that I've got. These are all raspberry and these were all seven cents each. So a dollar for 800 grams of fruit salad and 20 maths, 21 cents for all of these jellies. They'll make a school snack and little jelly cups or an afternoon tea or something for school lunches. So that will cost me $1.21. And these will all be out of my pantry and used up. So they go in the basket. And then I look around and I see what else I've got that can go together or that can be used up easily. For example, these open bag of pretzels and these open box of shapes. This, they're still perfectly good, but I don't want half open boxes in my pantry. So I'm going to get my snack bags and I'm going to make these into little snack pouches to send to the last week of school and get them out of my pantry. So I'll put them over there because I'll bag them up in a minute. Then we look and I see what else I've got. So I have these sayos here and these crackers. So I'll do a cheese tomato crackers one afternoon tea this week to get them going. Cheese tomato. And then those will be out of there. Then I've got this open bag of pasta here. So I know I need to make a pasta meal. I've got tomato soup, a cup of soups and diced tomatoes. So I could make my own pasta meal there from those or I could decide to make a soup and look in here and go, oh, I've got pasta, I could add pasta to my soup. Or I could add rice noodles to my soup because I've got two bags of those. I also will look in here and go, oh, I've got all these open bags of rice noodles. So I'm going to do rice paper rolls this week, which will be probably half of that, maybe that, for rice paper rolls. And then we'll use up some of that. You can kind of see how this is going. I'm coming up with meals as I go. I'm looking in here before I go anywhere else to make my meals and to work out what I need to use up. And I'm going to do this all month long. And as this box gets, this basket gets emptier, or I empty it, I'm going to go back to my pantry and find more stuff to use. 
Another example, uh, my family doesn't really like the four cheese pasta uh, and I'm gluten free so I can't eat this, but they, they prefer, the, it's alright, but they prefer the Alfredo, the garlic Alfredo, so I'm going to give this to Hubby one night when me and the kids have enchiladas because he doesn't like Mexican food. So we'll do enchiladas and this one night, get those two out of here, like that. Uh, I'm doing pork ramen this week. We have all of these noodles that we got for hubby to try that he didn't really like, but I'll use the noodles from this to make ramen for everybody. Maybe the flavor packets, but definitely the noodles. So those will get used up and out of here. Then I've got cereal. I can make little cornflake, honey things, snacks, or I could just make sure that I'm giving this to my kids before they go into the boxes of cereal I have in the cupboard. So cereal, rice flakes, so I'm gonna do some kind of hot pot or soup with these in the next two weeks. I'll have a snack of these. These are gluten-free coriander noodles and they're amazing, but I only have one and usually I have two for a meal, so this will be a snack with something else. I have the, the cans there, and then I have these lasagna sheets, which I am actually about to use right now in the video I am also recording of a bulk freezer meal prep of lasagna. I got these for 50 cents each from Coles like two months ago, so I still have four boxes. I'm going to use these ones up, and I'm going to use these up. And then I'm, these will sit out on my freezer where I can see them and they'll annoy me and I'll work my way through them and this will get smaller and smaller and smaller as I go. And that's Shelf Timber and this is my Shelf Timber basket. If you guys have any more questions, send me a DM on Instagram or Facebook. You can find me there. I'm Aussie Dead and Free Girl. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little notification bell to see more from me. Thanks guys.